and welcome back. Well, I think it's now time to start modelling our nose cone and props. So, let's get cracking. Let's move into our back viewport to begin with and we'll get this centered up. Now I'm going to pop up into customize into preferences and we're in our general tab what I want to do is just check the display crosshair cursor there we go and say OK now let's pop into our helpers and I'm going to select point because what I want is a point helper which is telling us where the center of this aperture is there we go let's click that and now we have our helper directly in the center of that pop back up to customize preferences and let's uncheck that now because I don't need it again pop into our left viewport there it is so W for our select and move tool let's just pull back a little bit and I can bring this now right over to about there somewhere around there anyway it's the center along here that I really need it let's zoom in a little bit now up to our create into our geometry and we're going to go for a cylinder you'll see that's the center now so let me just somewhere about there let's get that created push it back to give it some depth let's have a look at our parameters that's fine height segments one yep size 36 mm, yeah that'll do okay um, E for our rotate tool make sure snaps on because we're going to turn this round 90 degrees there we go lovely let's now convert that to an editable poly now that it's there I can put it into vertex mode I'm going to grab all of these vertices here uh, R for our scale tool I'm going to go right in the center there and just scale all those down to that angle there up to our root because now I need to pop into our perspective viewport we'll go there for a moment up to um, hierarchy I just want to make sure that this is centered our pivot so effect pivot only center to object you see it wasn't quite there let's turn off our effect pivot only I'm just gonna go for our W to select to move um, in fact what I'm gonna do is move this out of the way for a moment because what I want to do is actually get that so it's centered to our helper there so why don't we pop up to a line that's selected I'm gonna come across here select point zero one which is our helper um, let's put it on the pivot point shall we there and I want it on the X position I want it on the Y position and I may even want it on the Z position so we can choose whichever axis that we want if it's there we just say hey OK now we can also do that by pressing ALT and A just the shortcut key for um, a line always nice to know these things and let's now put this into transparency mode because I know it is a little bit too big and yep we'll pop into our back viewport again R for our skill tool I want to take it from the middle and just pull that down just there I know we've got to shape this a little bit but put it into perspective mode and let's pull out and have 
a look around. Okay, that's our first part, and we know it's centered up into there. So if we were to rotate this about its axis, it would be absolutely spot on. Okay, into our left view. Let's go zoom. Let's pull back a little bit. Now, as a point of interest, um, I'm not going by the orthographic reference image at the back because I did reposition it. It was getting in the way of the modeling and it, well, upset the proportions of it. So, really, I'm just using it as a bit of a reference but not for actually modeling. But I better point that out. Right, so let's now start with the nose cone. I'm going to move in a little bit closer here. Let's pop up to our create. Into our shapes. I'm going for a line this time. Now we know that that's the center there, so we can go anywhere on this line. But there is a um, sort of tube that runs through the middle of these, so I want to create this with this spline line that I'm going to be creating. So, left click, let's press shift, move up. Now I know it comes not right to the top because there's a bit of a a lip to this one, so left click on that. Let's bring it down and I want that angle about there. Now I'm just going to bring this down to about there to begin with, then press shift again bring that into there still pressing shift and I'm going to move across to here close the spline say yes now let's right click convert to editable spline open up our line root there I'm going to go into vertex to begin with what I really want to do now is zoom right in we're on refine here so select refine there and we have that nice cursor there I just want to put another one in there um, and then put some in here just to begin with let's get out a bit closer now up to our normal select tool so that refine is now switched off let's select that one right click and we'll make it smooth W for our selected move tool let's pull that across I want to smooth this out here we'll try this one as a bezier corner again zooming in because I need to be able to grab that there and just reshape that fine let's select this one let me just deselect it actually select that one I want to move it up a bit into refine again let's put one in there select select that one W I want to bring that in and it has a bit of an angle layer let's bring this one down as well want to line that up first of all. Refine again, put another one in there, um, let's have a look, one, one there, one there. What I've got to do is actually create the profile of the inside of this cone at the front. Okay, let's take refine off, so this one now can come up I know it's a little bit of faffing around is this but it's worth it in the long run I think let's reshape that there um, this one down a bit there let's bring this one down to there and up a bit another refine into there 
switch that off select it let's bring that up and square this off okay I think that's about it I know it's difficult to see let's pop up to line now the root into our modifier stack what I'm looking for is lathe okay now we want it on the X that's it open up lathe let's go axes now let's bring that down I want to line this up now so that it is there just there like that put it into perspective mode let's zoom around and there we go that's the profile we were creating there up to lathe and now what I'm going to do is actually convert this to an editable poly now I can pop into hierarchy effect pivot only center to object and turn that off this time we'll go alt a there we go that's our cursor with that thing on point zero one uh, pivot center gonna deselect some of these you see because I want I just want it on the X position and say okay we're in perspective mode let's zoom around a little bit there I love that pink color no I don't so let's give it a gray say okay and let's give this one here a gray color too say okay so now what we need to do is actually make three cutouts from where the propeller comes through but that's looking alright so far I can live with that well mindful of the time I think we'll call that it for this session okay I'll catch you later <laughs>